Okay, I'm taking some honey today and doing a mite treatment. These hives are full. Just look at all of those guys. <laughs> so the hive is full and booming. That's good. Um, the honey, there's not a lot and it's not all capped yet. So we're a little slow this year. So I'm taking some. I took one box, but I'll probably come back in a couple weeks and take some more. This should be nice, dark fall honey. And I'm about to start in on these guys. So these are the Italian bees. They seem to be doing a little bit better in the honey department than uh, the other hive, which was Carniolan. So I'm just gonna get in there and do some work and show you and hopefully come up with some kind of video for today. Here we go. The smoker's going nice and smoky. Look at how gentle these guys are, though. They're they're uh, they're not perturbed in the least. And um, neither were the Carniolans, but they were a bit more fussy than I usually expect. I'm sorry, those are uh, Saskatrez, possibly minus a generation, so they may be bred in with who knows what. My bees, someone else's bees. Those queens are dirty hoes. They do it with like 10, 10 freaking drones there. Squeeze their junk out, spit them, kill them. Right. <clears throat> I know I'd be, I hear you, sorry. I do not mean to squeeze. And, oh, well, I'm scraping the shit out of that. Uh, the stuff. I'm scra scraping the stuff out of that. So, well, this side looks pretty good. There's a little bit of underdone honey there. That side I scraped some. There's a little bit that's not capped. I could probably harvest that because it's close to capped, but what you get is a little bit more moisture content. So, I'm being a little picky. I think that we've had a real dry year. Um, only recently been rainy. Of course, right when I need to take the motorcycle in for uh, its first service, of course, yeah, then it rains the whole week, but the whole summer besides that, no, uh, borderline drought. Classic. <clears throat> All right, this frame looks beautiful, though. That is, that is nice, light honey that you want to take, so. There's a lot of different contraptions for doing this. Um... There are some little inserts you just put in between and the bees can go down, but they can't really get back up. And eventually you go and you just have a nice empty box. Super handy. But I don't do that, I do this. I just brush them all off. And let's see. Round and round and round we go. Oh look, there's a lovely deck. Chicken coop is getting some new work too. It's supposed to match the house. All right, we just brush them all off. <clears throat> and into the box they go. And you always get a little... You get a couple smart ones to get in there. But mostly they're out. And you can then... Uh, you can then take the house and spin it. <clears throat> So this end one, a lot of times on the on the ends, they're not as attentive. So my guess would be this other side might have some that's a little uncapped as well. The rest of the box looks this good. I'm just going to take this one too. Sometimes you pick and choose, and sometimes the whole box is awesome. I would guess that these guys, even the second box down, is going to be really good, and we'll have more brood nest down here. Yep, perfect. Although, look, there's some dark, dark honey on this side. You can see the color difference towards the center. And that's more fall honey. That's more like knotweed, goldenrod, the stuff that's out right now. Um, I think that's actually the stuff that gives my honey a really nice citrus flavor. So I, I typically kind of just blend the, the dark honey and the light honey together. Unless I've got a lot of both, in which case I'll separate them. 
All right, I'm gonna guess this whole box will be good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is such a heavy frame. This is beautiful. Right, and thicker. They really built that one out. It weighs noticeably more than the others. tiny some drones in there I'll scoop them out Perfect frame of honey. That's gonna spin out right nice. So I'll probably just take this whole box. It's looking like it's looking like it's all good. Yeah, excuse me. Perfect frame. So I think I'll just take the whole box. There's not enough uncapped to really make a difference, and it's very close to being capped. You, right on. How did you get through the bee suit? Excuse me. You, not nice. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. It's my first good sting of the day. Mm -hmm. I got some pretty good stings the other day mowing the lawn. Right over here, they don't like that too much. Right on the back of the head. I was really surprised because they, they barely, they barely hurt and the, and it felt like a bug bite for, for about a day. So I think I'm getting used to it. I hate, I hate it when they surprise you though. Probably just pinch that one up in the shirt because they're actually being really nice. Still looks like honey, and I see brood and stuff in there. I don't know how much more exciting I can make this. There's gonna be some editing. Because you, you don't want to do that. All right. I think, I think a lot of this box is going to go. So I am going to set this one up. Drone warrior attempting to bother me. Oh, that's, oh, that's heavy. Yeah, this is all, honey. 
Probably get this whole box too. Well, they say Italians are good at making honey. Well, right. I won't take this. As... I got one other frame to switch up. So let me do some. Let me do some math. There's a little spot of brood on that. Although I can always scoop that out. It depends on how much the rest of it looks like that brood. Brood. Yep, yeah, you don't want to take that. <laughs> um, not calf. Yeah, it's been like the other hive. Ooh, I'm kind of surprised. <clears throat> This may be, give him a little bit more time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to scoop around that brood, so. this. Oh, that one looks like it's going to be good, so we may have a couple here. Excuse me. Look out. Yep, that's a good one. You love this. This is called Formic Pro. It's uh, this formic acid. It gets the mites, especially the ones that are in brood cells, which is where they really like to feed. Um, it's pretty noxious. Like, whew, you don't want to breathe that. Um, <laughs> they're still good. That's nice to know. All right. Mm. So, let's get in here. Well, there are just what these hives are full. I'll tell you that much. Wow, they're just boiling right out. Uh, excuse me, I don't want to squish anybody. Now you can tell they really don't like this too. They just move right away. So, get it this out of here. Mm, so there. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> as soon as you put it down, they're like, Rrrr. what the hell? No. Come on, other way. Get out of there. And then I'll, I'll have to come back and close up all the entrances, but for now I'm just gonna move on down the line, check out the nukes. I got new boxes coming for these guys. So I'll probably just leave them alone since I know I'm gonna to have to take them apart in a couple days uh, later this week. But I'll, I'll check out that one on the end, which is noticeably quieter, despite the fact that it's more established than that. Let's see what's going on in there. And we'll get the rest of this. Oh, this is always kind of fun. Hey, everybody. Move down, not out. Gives you a leg biter. <laughs> Come on, out of the way. Thank you. Uh, I'll set you back up. Like I said I may be able to come back and take uh, take some of these honeys 
in a couple weeks. Have some more nice fall honey on them. Nice one like this one. I could probably still just take this. I think I will. So when I spin these frames, um, they're all empty and I can just put those boxes on top and they'll clean them up and they may even fill some more fall honey in there. Oof. <laughs> that was a big pile of bees on the ground. Uh, we'll take this friend. Which means I have to go find some empty frames somewhere. Got everybody. Ugh. Whoa, Bumblebee, what are you doing in there? <laughs> you see it? There's a Bumblebee. Dude, that's not smart. Oh, and you're right over the edge again. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. All right. Oh, we can't do that either. Get out of here. So this is my adaptive feeder insulation box. That's just the thing I came up with so I could feed them without encouraging too much robbing. Kind of functions like an inner cover. Guys, seriously, you need to not be right on that edge. I'm brush you out of the way. Come on. Um, it does a good job. I need to get the insulation in there soon. Let me feed them back here. Um, these jar feeders, if you have them by the entrance, can sometimes get robbing going. So, I'll try to avoid. I've had people ask me what's going on with that top part. And you guys are going to have to go in. Over here. And I'll say one thing, you guys are... Very healthy population here. Hey, out, out of the box. You wanna get trapped in there. Right in here, one, two, okay, if you're in there, it's, it's all on you, man. I said get out, come There we go. Let me just see if I can show you what it looks like down at the bottom. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> That's a lot of bees. Very exciting. All right, and so next off to the other hives. 